Hello theatre fans, I'm Jess from Official London Theatre and today I am going to be filming and Juliet characters as The Sims. So it's actually been one year since I last did one of these videos. I filmed Wicked characters on The Sims. It was during lockdown um, at a time when The Sims is really kind of getting me through being indoors all the time. And I just thought, and Juliet has got such great costumes and characters that I really wanted to do it again for them. Um, I've also had a bit of an upgrade since I last did the Wicked video because I've actually got way more expansion packs um, than I had back then. So I've got pretty much, I think, all of the kind of base game expansion packs, which opens us up to a lot more kind of outfits and um, looks and styles and stuff like that. I actually saw the show uh, last week and I was sat in the front row, which was amazing. Um, I'll be loosely basing the characters um, on the actors who are playing them on Western at the moment, but I have to admit, I haven't really got the time and patience to make The Sims look exactly like the actual real life people. Um, so I think I'm more gonna go with kind of the style of what they're wearing, because um, their costumes and Anne Juliet are amazing. They're like kind of a fusion of modern and uh, Shakespearean outfits. Fun fact, Anne Juliet is our show of the week at the moment down at TKTS, so you can get 40% off on the day tickets. You can do this online, um, if you're feeling a little bit spontaneous, why don't you go and do it now? Book 40% off and Juliet tickets, or you can go to our booth in Leicester Square. Let's get logged in. Of course, I have to start with the one and only Juliet Capulet. Um, so let's start. Hello, my name is Juliet. Oh, Juliet Capulet. It's so satisfying how her name rhymes. I'm gonna do them all as young adults. Um, I guess actually I could do some of them as young adults and some of them as actual adults. That's probably going to make more sense. Let's do that. Um, so yeah, female. Um, I'm just going to kind of leave the voices as they are, although I am going to put melodic because obviously it's a musical and they are melodic. Let's start with picking an aspiration. I've not actually thought this through yet, so you're kind of seeing my thought process as we go. I would go straight to love because in actual Romeo and Juliet, obviously her and Romeo are in love and it's a love story. What have we got? We've got Serial Romantic. This sim wants to play the field and go on dates with all sorts of interesting people. We've got This sim wants to find and live a rewarding life with the one. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I think if I'm looking at them too, Serial Romantic might be somebody else in the show. Um, maybe Soulmate for now? You know what I'm gonna do because, and because Romeo and Juliet is a love story, I am gonna put um, soulmate because I do think the show is kind of not so much the romantic love story that Romeo and Juliet is, but a lot of the characters in and Juliet want to find love, and ultimately it is Juliet's love story in the end, isn't it? So I'm gonna go with that one. Let's look at traits. So I think. I'm going to say self-assured, for sure, first of all. Um, maybe not so much at the beginning, but absolutely at the end of the show, she's pretty self-assured. Um, we do have romantic. These sims tend to be flirty and become sad if they don't have a romantic social interactions for a period of time. I might choose that one. I'm going to put that one down for now. I also would say she's pretty cheerful, but... We've got to see what else there is. I'm also going to pick outgoing because I feel like Juliet is, she loves party, she loves being around people. So we've got self-assured, romantic and outgoing. Okay, so first of all, looking at the hair, obviously Miriam Teak has this amazing hair. It's iconic and of course I want to go as close to that as possible for our Sims Juliet. So initially, we have this one. Um, also, I need to change the actual colour. Miriam Teak has black hair, so let's go with black. Uh, so yes, yeah, so initially we have this one, which is similar, it's got the shaved sides. However, the actual hair bit is straight. Ideally, I wanna go for something that is curly. We have this one, which is closer. We've got the curly hair on the top, but not so much the shaved sides. So we're close, I think we're getting closer. What's this one here? Again, we've got the curly bit, but not the shaved sides. We've got a shaved back. This is what I'm going into particulars. 
We have this one, which does have a shaved side and kind of curly. I would say that was probably pretty wavy. It's so hard. I wish I was streaming this so I could get other people's opinions because I'm such a bad decision maker. I really, what I really love about Julia Almerintic's hair is the fact that it's got so much curl and volume. And I think that if I use um, this one that has a bit of the fringe, uh, you're definitely missing out on the actual curliness of her hair. So I'm gonna go with this Machino style where it's curly on the top, it's not quite shaved on the sides, but we'll allow it. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and sort her eyebrows out, looking at Juliet's eyebrows on here, kind of rounded. Yeah, I'm gonna go for these ones and maybe move them up a bit. Perfect. Great, so I'm gonna remove the glasses and jewelry and we'll start from here. So let's go into makeup before we start jewelry. So in this photo that I've got, I can see that Juliet has got kind of some lovely gold eyeshadow and winged liner. So let's have a look at what we have. This one, I'm really tempted to do this because it's gold and pink, which are the colors of uh, Juliet's outfit, her jacket. But, or do I think, do I do I go for it? It's not really a style of eyeliner I, um, eyeshadow that I go for because sometimes it can look a little bit like painted on. What's this one? This one's also beautiful. I'm gonna filter brown and yellow because a lot of the browns are not really coming out as gold. So I think yellow is probably gonna be our best bet. There we go. I think that's quite nice. Yes, this is what we want. Uh, brilliant, so we've got the winged eyeliner and then the gorgeous red lipstick. We can do a little bit of blush on the cheeks. That. And then I want this lovely kind of, what do you call that raspberry? Raspberry coloured lip. I do love this MAC one. So what have we got? It's kind of like a deep. I'm like it is like a berry colour. I need a berry colour. Mmm, are you getting closer? I'm gonna go with this one. I think it's got the essence of the berry colour. Um, so Juliet has some gold hoop earrings in. I can't tell if that's like gold or lime green, but because the shape works i'm gonna go with these big ones um also i think a bit of a bit of pink and green's nice so it kind of goes with her berry lipstick let's have a look through see what we can get um unfortunately you can't layer up styles so i can't do like a top and then a coat on top but i want to have a look at the jackets that we've got because i think there might be something in there that we can use um and then see if we can find a kind of hot pink skirt around um, I can also see that Juliet's got some purple nail varnish on and with the latest update, we can do nail varnish. So I'm very excited about that. So the jacket is bright yellow um, with some kind of nice pink detailing on it. Um, we've got this Machino jacket, which has, it's kind of like a leather jacket, it's yellow, but it's not quite the bomber style jacket that Juliet is wearing. This one here, which is yellow, um, again, a bit more bomber. We've got a bit of a crop on it, which is quite nice, quite modern. Ah, here's the one I was looking for, this one here. So I can't quite remember. We've got this one that's kind of like a goldy brown colors. We've got this one, which I think could, could, quite, could be quite close, you know. Um, looking what else there is. So we have got the kind of gold, we've got some pink flowers on there. The only issue with this one is that it has a long t-shirt and I'm not quite sure we're gonna be able to tuck that in. And considering what it looks like alongside the skirt, it might not look quite right. So, hang on a second. You realize I've just gone silent and that is because I, I, think, I think I found a better one, this one. So again, it is a black top, that's fine. But we've got the yellow, we've got 
the little flowers on it. Um, so yeah, I've definitely found my top. I'm gonna go with this one. So now I want a hot pink skirt. So initially looking at the kind of hot pink skirts that we have, again, we have this Machino one, um, high waisted, which is quite nice but it's kind of fitted to the body and it's not quite puffy enough. So let's see what else we can get. This one, hot pink, not, not poofy, but I quite like this one. I think I like this one. It's a better length. Um, it is still kind of the hot pink color. I don't think we can go any pinker, we can go purple. Otherwise, there is this one. Actually, I don't hate it as much as I thought I was going to. That's it in red, which, it's kind of similar. It's a bit more similar to the photo that I'm looking at. Let me just have a look at this one, see if it's got a red for this one. I mean, that's way too red. And it's it's completely different. I'm gonna go for this, I think. I'm gonna go for the red, but just say it's pink. Let's just say it's pink. <laughs> She's got some rings, so let's pop some rings on her fingers. It's just kind of like gold rings. Um, and she's also got a bracelet as well, actually. So I'm gonna put some pearls on her because I think that looks a bit like a pearl. Um, and then rings, just some fun golden rings. Okay, the bit I'm most excited for is the purple nails. Let's get them on. Yay! There we go, some purple nail varnish. Super. Let's move on to shoes and socks. So Juliet is wearing some kind of like sports socks with a little bit of pink on them, which I absolutely love. Um, we've got these ones, which, uh, oh my God, that is perfect. Oh, I get so excited every time something works. <laughs> okay, perfect. We have got sports socks with pink lines and then we just need some white trainers. Uh, let's have a look. Try these ones. What do you think of them? There's some really good trainer options, I think, in The Sims at the moment. Um, you've kind of got like the Converse looking ones, you've got like the Adidas looking ones. Um, so I think I have these ones, I don't quite think them. I think they look a bit too sporty with her sports trainers. So I am gonna go with these white ones. Oh, I do love these though. And do you know what? They have them in white and they have them in pink. And they have them in this like dusky color actually. Which I think is more similar to the photo that we have. Perfect. So this is it. This is my Juliet. Let's have a look at her. She's got a great outfit on. I am very pleased with the socks. That is probably my favorite part. Um, but I do also really love the kind of golden jacket with the kind of flower design on it. Um, and the hair, although it's not shaved in the sides, um, I still find think it kind of captures that essence. What I would like to improve on is the fact that she's wearing a black top underneath, and I do think the skirt could do with being a bit shorter. Um, but overall, I'm actually really kind of impressed with my first attempt um, at my Anne Juliet character. Let's move on to the next.